This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 233. The Three Real Reasons Why People Succeed by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil Malik. Welcome back to a Wednesday episode of Optimal Health Daily, where I read to you from popular health and fitness blogs to help you optimize your health. And since it's midweek and you may be at that point where you're just trying to push through and get to Friday, I think we're due for an inspirational quote. This one comes from Frank Tiger. Quote, learn to listen. Opportunity could be knocking at your door very softly. End quote. Now, of course, we could take that quote literally. You're obviously listening to this show. But sometimes we miss all those little opportunities that come our way because we're only looking for that big payoff, that big reward. And since today we're talking about success, I thought that quote was perfect. So listen closely and see if anything sparks your interest today that you can apply right now to your life. So today's post is from Nerd Fitness. But don't forget, I wanna mention we have a giveaway to a random person on our mailing list every month. To be in the raffles, just make sure you've joined our email list at oldpodcast.com. I'll give you another quick reminder at the end of the show. So for now, Let's hear this post from Steve and start optimizing your life. The Three Real Reasons Why People Succeed by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. We have featured some pretty incredible success stories on Nerd Fitness. Joe dropping 130 pounds in 10 months. Saint going from 60 pounds overweight to less than 10% body fat. Stacy becoming a powerlifting superhero. Stephen dropping 40 pounds in time for his wedding. Veronica losing 40 pounds in four months. There are a few constants running through each and every success story I just mentioned. Sure, they all worked on cleaning up their diet and they all followed through with a strength training routine, but neither of those things were the most important reasons why they found success. I've been running nerd fitness for close to four years now, and I've come to understand why certain people are successful and why others can't seem to make things happen. Those that find success possess a few intangibles that can be learned over time and are definitely required for long-term awesomeness, something we all strive for. Here are three of the biggest reasons why some people succeed where others fail. Consistent persistence. Everybody gets healthy in their own way. We all start out as level 1.0 versions of ourselves, and it takes us a considerable amount of time to get to a point where we've leveled up our lives. I can generally tell within a few lines of an email from a new nerd fitness reader who is going to succeed and who's going to struggle. Those that will struggle start by asking, quote, how long is this going to take? Or if I do this for a month, how much weight will I lose? They're interested in the results, but have no interest in the process. They get bogged down by the minutia of exactly how many calories they should eat or the exact amount of protein required and freak out about the exact number of sets and reps. They spend all day reading hundreds of health websites while taking the advice of none of them. They're collecting underpants gnomes. They quickly get frustrated after non-earth-shattering progress in a few weeks, so they jump from diet fad to diet fad, from one revolutionary workout plan bandwagon to the next. They consistently pick flash and style over persistence and consistency. Those that will succeed start by doing, quote, hey, Steve, I've been following the blank plan for four months, and here's my progress. These rebels understand how just getting started is the best step taken. So they pick a plan, stick with it for months on end, and make adjustments along the way. They don't send premature emails with sweeping declarations about how successful they will be four months later. They just freaking do it, consistently improving for months and months, and then email me after the fact to share their story. Joe, one of our most dramatic nerd fitness transformations ever, followed through with the plan for 10 months to get his results. He actually didn't email me until four months after he had stuck with a plan. For Stacy, it took a good 18 months of progress before she transformed into the powerlifting superhero that she is today. Successful rebels understand that they are not on a crash diet and they're not following some six-week get-fit-quick plan. They're making concerted, calculated, and consistent changes over a long period of time that will become part of their new lives. Steps backwards are still steps forward. Failure is not a bad thing. Failure can be one of the greatest things to ever happen to you if you learn from it and move forward. People who struggle to find success. After a diet misstep, a few weeks in, 
they get depressed, give up on themselves, and go back to their old habits because, quote, it's hopeless. Eventually, they work up the motivation to make another effort to get healthy, but they make the same mistakes as last time. Not surprisingly, when it doesn't work again, they get even more depressed and fall into an even deeper funk. In contrast, those who are successful look at each and every failure as a step forward. Each time they fall off the get healthy wagon, they don't sit down and make the assumption that it's, quote, impossible. Instead, they get the you-know-what over it and see that failure is one less method they need to try to get healthy the next time. They understand that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting different results. So when they fail at one particular method or strategy, they immediately get back on the horse and try another one. Saint struggled to reach his level of, quote, healthy. Over the course of two years, he continually failed to transform, mostly by trying the same methods repeatedly. Now, rather than giving up and calling it hopeless, he took that opportunity to analyze why he was failing. Counting calories and spending every evening doing more cardio didn't work for him, so he shifted course and tried strength training and clean eating. Success. They put on their hard hats. Getting healthy is a long and epic journey, my friend. Like Frodo walking to Mordor, it's going to be a bumpy ride. It really comes down to who is properly equipped and mentally prepared to complete the work required to make things happen. Those that fail give up at the slightest sign of resistance. They willingly accept that, quote, things got busy, or, quote, I had a bad day, or I don't have time, and they then complain that they can't seem to get healthy. They get overly excited when the scale reads lower than expected, and then they become inconsolable when the scale moves up a single pound the next week. What about those that succeed? They put on their hard hats and go to work. No complaints, no excuses, no feeling sorry for themselves, just progress. They understand there'll be good days and bad, busy days and slow days, days filled with awesomeness and days filled with sadness. They don't allow themselves to ride the roller coaster of emotion. They just shut up and do the work. When Veronica emailed me to tell me about her progress, it was to tell me that she had been diligent about her workouts and eating for four months. Same thing happened with Tony. He emailed me to tell me that he had made tremendous progress by being consistent and steadfast with his resolve to live a better life. Hard hats go on, clocks get punched, and work gets done. Why will you succeed? Remember this rule of the rebellion. Quote, we don't care where you came from, only where you're going. End quote. I wanna know what makes this new version of you different from the old version of you. Why are you going to succeed now where you have failed in the past? Life is good. You woke up today, right? Good. Build on that. You just listened to the post titled The Three Real Reasons Why People Succeed by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. For those of you longtime listeners to this show, it's probably gonna be no surprise that I pretty much wholeheartedly agree with everything I just read to you. The one little tip that I would actually add is that it's gonna be really helpful to track your progress, to actually write things down. This has actually been studied quite extensively and they found that people that keep records, whether it's diet records or records of what they lifted at the gym or how long they worked out for the intensity, they actually tend to stay on track and tend to reach their goals more often. On the other side of that coin is they've also found that when people go off track, one of the best ways to get back on the horse is to start recording again. So if I had to add one more reason why people succeed, it would be it's because they kept records. Now, once again, before you know it, it'll be time for another book giveaway. We give away at least one to a random person every month. To be in those raffles, make sure you're on our weekly newsletter at oldpodcast.com. You'll get some free spreadsheet tools from us right away and then a weekly email with updates and you'll be in our raffles automatically. Again, that's all at oldpodcast.com. All right, time for me to sign off. Thank you as always for listening and I'll see you in about 24 hours where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, 
Come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.